Hello, welcome to the first part of our fourth tutorial, IB Expert Database Objects. I'll begin by opening the database I registered in the last tutorial so that we can take a look at the objects already available in the sample database. Here we have domains. Domains are nothing other than user-defined data types, which we can specify for a database and then use when defining new tables. For example, if I take the domain address line, here you can see that it has been defined as a varchar data type length 30. Here you can see further options to define and display domains in IB Expert. If I click on display all, then all domains in this sample database are displayed. Here we have the domain budget. This is a decimal data type, numerical with a floating point value to two decimal places. The maximal length, including the decimal places, is, in this case, 12. The default value is 50,000. This means that when a table is created with a data type budget, if no figure is entered in this field, the default value of 50,000 is automatically inserted. The value is checked internally, whether it lies between 10,000 and 2 million. This is also something that you can define with a data type, that the value entered lies within certain defined limits. For example, the customer number must always be larger than 1,000. And here you can see the definition. Value is equal to zero, or the value must be larger than zero, etc., etc. So you can see that there are many possibilities here for domain definition. You can see when looking at the domains in this database that it is also possible to specify whether a field may be left empty or not. In this case, this value, software, is entered if the field is left empty. So these are the domains already specified for this database. We will look at using domains ourselves when we come to construct our own database. Tables. Let's take a look at the popular employee table. When we double click on the table name, we can see the table details on the left in the database explorer, as I have already activated the show object details in the database registration info. There are 11 fields, one primary key, two foreign keys, one check constraint, four indices, two triggers, and no unique constraint. If we look at the table editor, you can see here the fields and add to, alter, or delete them if necessary. You can see here that, for example, the primary key is the emp number field with the data type small int. This and other data types will be discussed when I show you how to create your own table. This was declared in this table based on the do domain emp number, so no further details are displayed in the field definition here. The small int does not have a specified size, scale or subtype and is not an array data type. A text field should always be based on a character set and be defined with a maximum length, for example, varchar 15. The field may be physically any length, up to a maximum of 15 characters. Last name, phone extension, hire date, hire date is a timestamp. A timestamp is a Firebird data type which stores both a date and time. The department number, job code. Here we can see the foreign key sign, which means that this field has a relationship to other database objects. We can take a closer look at this later when we look at the dependencies page. And here is a computed field, full name. You can see the calculation here. And here, you can see that the full name field comprises the field last name, linked with a comma in the middle, to first name. 
Such computed fields can be helpful in many situations. For example, to save defining such links every time you want to print a report. So, that was the employee table. You can see the various tables in this database. We have customer databases with well over 1,000 tables in a single database. And now to views. A view is really nothing other than a stored select. Here you can see the select statement, which can be executed as a simple SQL. Above that, you can see the declaration of the field names, as they should appear in the view. Particularly of interest are the updatable views, but they are subject to be dealt with in their own tutorial. You can of course use a view, as here, to display a telephone list or similar, simply displaying the contents of multiple tables united together in one single view. This tutorial now continues with IB Expert Database Objects Part 2. Thank you.